The area of mechatronics brings in mechanical engineering, but also brings in electrical and computer engineering and computer sciences, if you like information technologies. This particular scenario is an emergency scenario, let's say an explosion, uh, hazardous chemical spill, or an earthquake and so on. So we don't want to send people out there. And at the same time, we want to see whether there are injured people, for example, or whether we need to do clearing. We have seen in movies more anthropomorphic robots, which are more like humans. Our purpose is not to make them appear to be human in a physical sense, but to be able to do things like the humans do. Within the next five years, you will see in the marketplace robots that you can buy, which will be household robots, which can do several useful things. First of all, it can be a security robot. If you don't want to have a real dog or a cat, you can have a robot which can also serve the function of being a pet. It can go and fetch you your medicine. It can give, get you a glass of water. Our robots, they are on their own, have varying levels of intelligence. We are not talking about equating human intelligence. We are saying bringing some basic characteristics of intelligence. How do you represent human experience? How do you process knowledge? How do you learn? How do you do things better as we, as we go along? So those are some of the great challenges that we have to face.